Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be looking at these Continental GP5000 in 28mm. Hey, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be looking at these. I uh, bought these for my new uh, build. First impression, the box is really big. If you uh, put the tire down, it's at least Mm, it could be a quarter thinner. Um, wobbles around like crazy. I do like the box though. It's a nice finish. Um, tells you how much to pump them up to. Um, lots of stuff on the back telling you about everything. We'll have a look at that. Uh, first of all, let's get this box open. Okay, let's pour it out. Tire, box. So we've got um, so we've got active comfort. Oh, it absorbs vibration. Laser grip. Nice for cornering. Veteran breaker like normal. And um, there's a close up of the all the stuff. If you're interested. Um, and a new era in cycling. Dun dun dun. Got to be five thousand. Okay, so as you know, I get my stuff from Wiggle, not sponsored by Wiggle, it's just where I get my kit. Um, these cost me £30.83. I've got two of them, obviously, for the obvious reason, front wheel and back wheel. Uh, that's a little pamphlet. I'm sure we all know how to put tyres on. Let's get a look at them. So, um, I can take the band off. Okay, so it's off. Um, let's have a look round. Let's see if there's any information, any exciting information. So we've got uh, the Continental, obviously. I'm looking for, uh, there we go. Okay, this is the bit I'm after. So we've got Made in Germany. Maximum, oh, there's a chunk out of my N. See it? Just there. That's going back. Just there, see it? That has to be returned, I'm afraid. Yep. Uh, maximum inflation is eight bar. Or 116 PSI. That black chili compound or perhaps because it's a new tire, it's really grippy. It's not tacky, but it's really grippy, like really grippy. And that laser grip is um, laser etched into the, yeah, I'm not convinced about that. It just looks like someone's scuffed it up and one thing i should point out on these tires we've got a rotation arrow make sure you put that on the right way around um, i've done it a few times where back in the day i didn't realize there was a rotation on these tires and i had it going the wrong way um it's probably the only time i fell off going around a wet corner when I had my wheel tire on the wrong way, whether or not that um, had any effect, who knows? But I still came off, checked my tires, and I'd had it the wrong way around. So, um, also, I found this 5000 just after the grip. And if you're wondering what these two dots are, this is a wear indicator, um, a tread wear indicator. So, when you've got dots, the tread is fine. When the dots have worn through, so you can't see them anymore, it's time to change your tire. Um, just a little thing that Continental tires have got, which is um, always good to look at. Alrighty. So as always, we're going to weigh it. One of these tires. Let's give it a weigh. Yeah, that's zeroed. So we've got two hundred thirty-five grams for one of these babies. 
So that's a little look and a way. They do feel very grippy though, crikey. Of the Continental GP5000, 28 mil, that's going back because it's worn down through to the threads already. Never mind. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll get a new one and then we'll stick it on the bike when it turns up. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Car House. Bye. See ya.